and see what my niece and nephew say to this. You guys have to wait. I just need a shower. <laughs> you guys can't go for your bath yet because I'm going to go for a bath myself. <laughs> Are you sure you're not going to swim? No, I'm going for a shower. Are you sure? Tally yeah. Rose, notice how the kids are completely unfazed by Tally's Yeah, appearance. they're so unfazed. Because Why are you unfazed? Because we're, we're used to your, your lunacy. <laughs> are you used to me and my madness? Not really. Are you vlogging? What? Yeah, do you want to say hi? No. Well, actually, do you know what? YouTube asked me if there's kids in my videos now. Yeah. And if there's kids, I don't really know what happens. Have you noticed that it's closing my eyes? No. Squeezing my eye. I'm not on me. I want to say hi. Well, why don't, I don't know if you can really like be in it anymore, but we'll try. Hi. 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 Okay, well, anyway, okay, this was a bit of a fail. Huh? You'll see, I thought you were going to laugh at me. Huh? Yeah, yeah shut up. Mum will laugh no, at me. Myself. I'm going for a shower. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? Nothing. What are you doing? Look. You need to look then. Oh my god! No! No. <laughs> You'll see. Right, pick one with daddy in then. Can you believe your brother right now? Oh, Daddy! Get rewarded for laying by a hotel Daddy. pool. This is a very oh. odd experience. Hi, right Daddy! <laughs> Hi, Daddy! Do you want to okay? No. Get out. Um, the ring lights on. Imagine if I didn't put the ring lights on. I would have probably cried. Imagine if you had a tidy room. Why did, the, why did Daddy say you don't look <laughs> nice? He's joking. Hey. Hi, Tammy Hose. Welcome back yeah. to my YouTube channel. Hi, Daddy. If you're new, hello. Aw, that's my nice. <laughs> and this is my brother. Too. If you have Are you actually going to sit here and watch this? If you're new yeah. here, I'm five foot two and I'm a UK no. 18. To Let's get straight into Right, I'm going for a shower because this is boring. Hi, Tally Hose. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new, I'm expecting some of you are going to be new. Welcome, my name is Tally Sharp. Here we do plus size fashion and some vlogs. Um, it's the morning, good morning. I'm actually in Birmingham. This is where I've decided to have my surgery. This is going to be my pre one day pre-op diet that I'm showing you because it's really not long enough to make a whole vlog on it. It's also going to be my day of surgery and also my week after. So basically a weekly vlog of my surgery and my experience. Yesterday I had my pre-op like assessment and they basically checked my blood, they took blood, they made me put like this heart monitor thing all over my body. They also did a few swabs and I met one of the nurses and she was absolutely unreal. Me and my mum got an Airbnb because we didn't want to do the journey like, tw like twice. Uh, we're from Brighton, if you're new here, shout out to my Brightonians. So yeah, we got this beautiful house, um, which has a garden, it has parking and everything, because we were thinking that maybe like a hotel wouldn't be the best, because I am on a strict milk and yogurt LRD diet, which consists of zero fat yogurts. So I've actually been having this total yogurt which i feel like is like the richest and sort of creamiest one but sometimes it takes a while to get like a nice yogurt consistency other times it's a little bit like a mousse we don't like that around here i don't like yogurt anyway so this diet's quite hard but also really good at the same time because i don't really have to put any thought into what i'm actually eating because i'm only allowed a certain amount of stuff I've literally got nowhere to put you guys, so bear with me on this ridiculous angle here. So, what I'm allowed on this diet is up to three pints of semi 
no I need to redo this okay up to three pints of skimmed milk no more than that unlimited amount of the yummiest thing in the world uh, zero fat yogurt and I'm allowed to snack on no added sugar jelly I got off this on day two and I've just rebought some because it's been I think 10 days on am I in focus it's been 10 days on my diet so I thought I'm getting a little bit bored so let's get some more my personal LRD is for two weeks strict diet this is in order to shrink my liver in time for surgery so that they can move it out the way and get to my stomach easily i'm having the gastric sleeve if you want to know more on why i picked the sleeve over the bypass let me know i'm sure that i will do a q a for you guys if you have any questions pop them in the comments down below mate i'm also allowed no added sugar squash to add to some water i'm having obviously unlimited water but i'm managing only one of these a day normally i just have water but today i'm having squash because i'm struggling and then tally hose you guys know that i've been putting like zero calorie zero sugar syrups in my morning coffee which i'm gonna make with you guys in a second i found it in lidl i think it was about 3.99 and then i went back in there couldn't find it so i ordered a bunch off amazon i got the skinny co syrups don't like them don't vibe with them they do also do ketchup and mayo though and i am gonna try them just to try them but and then me and my mum went into tk maxx to return something and i came across skinny syrups these are amazing they are so strong in flavor they're zero sugar zero calorie syrups i got so many i think i spent 87 pounds and they're only 3 99 each. Most of them are back home in Brighton, but with me, I brought Rocky Road and I bought salted caramel mocha. This is unreal. And I'm allowed to add those into my yogurts and my milk as much as I like. I'm also allowed a sweetener. I'm allowed teas, coffees. Oh, and also I'm allowed, one sec, two hot drinks of like stock. Just checking, I'm in focus or you can put like Marmite and like put it in hot water. Tried that during this diet, absolutely do not recommend. Tastes like absolute. But I asked my dietitian if I could use this. This is um, an Israeli chicken flavor soup and seasoning mix. I absolutely love you, it's amazing, it tastes great. Especially when, I love chicken. I've realized and I've been craving chicken since the day after I started my LRD <laughs> but this is like the next best thing so definitely get your hands on this if you're doing the milk and yogurt diet and then once a day I have to take A to Z uh, multivitamins and minerals to make sure that I'm not like deficient in any vitamins mate so that I don't have deficiencies I don't I don't really know I'm just taking the vitamins because this obviously isn't a long-term diet. <laughs> this is purely just to shrink my liver so that they can move it, keep me safe during the surgery. Honestly, Tally Hose, I'm getting better with the thought of it now. When I first booked my surgery that night, I did have a panic attack because I was just getting in my head about it and everything. But I'm actually having my surgery with tonic weight loss and they have put my mind at ease so much. They've just all been so, so, so lovely. With tonic, you get a therapist. I've spoken to her. She was amazing. I literally said, like, can we talk every day? <laughs> You also get um, a dietitian. I've spoken to her. She's making sure that I'm doing my part. I've also booked with her for a week after my surgery to talk about like the next stage. So after my surgery, I'm only allowed liquids. So no more yogurt, that'll be too much for me, but I'm allowed squash, milk, literally anything. I'm also allowed like juices, but that are zero sugar or like no added sugar or something, not sure. 
don't quote me on it yet i'm not at that stage yet so i'm literally taking this day by day and just easing myself into it and embracing all of it i'm not putting pressure on myself this is hopefully going to be a completely new way of life it's going to kick in some new habits for me and i'm actually genuinely really excited yesterday at the pre-op the nurse what was her name i can't remember her name which is so upsetting because we actually hugged at the end of my like consultation after she like took my blood and stuff because she was just amazing she asked me for a hug and she was amazing she is actually going on holiday a few days before my surgery so she won't be there which has put me a little bit on edge because like i feel like she would be my comfort blanket it's a covid hospital so my mum's not allowed to come in with me no one's allowed to come with me so the fact that i built such a strong rapport with her so quickly i'm a little bit gutted but she called me angel face and it just really touched me just, she's amazing <laughs> I can't remember her name though, I'm so upset about it. But anyway, Tonic also offer you a virtual PT who has a podcast, so you can like listen into that and also a private Facebook page. Another reason why I went with them is because they have five years of aftercare. So after I was like researching about where I can have this done, I really felt like for me personally, I'd feel more comfortable in the UK with people speaking the same language as me, just like being vulnerable, in the country I'm from because I feel like this is a very vulnerable situation you know so yeah I have gone privately um I am paying for the procedure uh but some of it is gifted by tonic I reached out to them once I had done all of my research knew that I wanted it in the UK so yeah. the reason why I'm all the way up here in Birmingham is because I feel like I picked the best surgeon for me personally. I picked Mr. Awad. I'm actually part of the Facebook bariatric support page and there was nothing but amazing reviews about him and his team. He's so thorough. When I had my consultation with him, he did his research into who I was, my lifestyle. He asked me the appropriate questions to like get me thinking about if this is the correct thing for me and my lifestyle. He was so thorough, he's so strict, and that just makes me feel like I'm gonna be so comfortable on that surgical bed. You know, I think that that Facebook page is really, really good. It's a good support page and also it opens your eyes to real problems, real risks that you are taking with this surgery. I'm literally in a cupboard right now. This is how I'm trying to film this. When you're like in a different house, you just feel weird filming here. Hi, mum. Hi, darling. Hi. <laughs> what are you playing, backgammon? She gets really annoyed when she doesn't win, don't you? Yeah. So whilst the kettle is boiling, well, actually it's not boiling because it would be too loud to film and boil, but I'm going to put it on. <laughs> I'm using these eye patches. These are new eye patches because I finished my Pixie Glow eye patches, detox eye patches. And I'm really upset about it because I felt like they were like amazing to depuff. But now I'm using these Hydrogel patches by Eldora. That's such a cute name, Eldora. Mum, isn't that a cute name for a baby, like a daughter? Eldora. Eldora, that's really... Okay, I'm not at that stage of life yet, but you know. PLT actually sent me these, so thank you PLT. Um, they're gold as well, so they make me feel rich. So yesterday on my drive, I actually was snacking on skimmed milk, so I've already put in this syrup into the milk. So when I put that with the coffee, it's already flavored. You don't need a lot of this syrup, tally hose, okay? Because it's very strong. So I'm just popping some coffee in there, the tiniest bit of water, and then I'm just gonna let that dissolve. I'm also making my mum some coffee. Mum's having semi-skimmed. She likes it milky and weak. <laughs> and then I'm just popping in my flavored milk. And that is how I start my day. And then I've already mixed some syrup into my yogurt 
and I need to eat some of this for breakfast because I need to take my A to Z vitamins. Mm. It is pretty good. I'm actually just getting used to this diet. 10 days down, four to go. It's gone really quick. So that's basically my diet. I'm probably not gonna vlog every time I eat a bit of yogurt because it's gonna be very boring for you. So I'm gonna finish eating my yogurt, drink this. This is unmatched. This is so good. And then I'm gonna take my vitamins. About 4 p.m. I lose energy and I need to lie down for at least an hour or two. I've been so moody, so tired. I've not wanted to pick up the camera, but today I felt a little bit more energetic. So now you know the LRD pre-op diet. I will see you probably on surgery day. I'm going to be so nervous, so bear with me. I will vlog as much as I can. Hello, Talios, how are we? Oh my God, we're here. It's the day of surgery. Do you know what? This area is just so beautiful. It's giving me like it's giving me peace. I'm wearing my Bob Marley oversized <laughs> t-shirt. I'm fully manifesting. Everything is gonna be all right. And don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> That's manifestation to level 100 basically is what i'm trying to say i'm nervous but i'm doing okay i think you know this is finally a massive decision that i've actually made for myself i don't make many decisions for myself i actually find it really hard to make decisions so i am happy with my decision i think We'll see how I feel tomorrow or, you know, in about an hour. But um, I'm a little bit early. So in about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, it's loud. So in about 10, 15 minutes. I'm go Why is it really loud all of a sudden? There we go. Honestly, this place is so beautiful. I'll show you a little video maybe, who knows, maybe not, maybe I'll be too nervous and I'll forget. Um, apparently when I wake up my legs are going to be getting massaged to keep the circulation going well in my body or my legs. Or I mean I kind of need one for my home anyway because honestly my circulation is so bad, like literally I'll sit on a bench and they'll be purple <laughs> people were like are you alive like look at your feet I'm like I know they're so bad so I am actually going to get like a little circulation machine for at home I think if you know any good ones pop them down below it's a bit of a weird one to sort of not e everyone I can't get my words out not everyone needs something like that so maybe you don't know but if you do it would be very helpful if you wrote your favorites in the comments <sighs> and also like i can't sit on you know like bar stools or any stools like a breakfast table bar stool you know something like that <clears throat> my voice is actually breaking up i'm not allowed any water or anything to eat i think that's probably the hardest thing about today is it's 11 a.m i haven't eaten anything obviously i've hardly eaten anything anyway for two weeks and now i'm just so so hungry yeah so when i sit on a bar stool or whatever like i pretty much can't because i constantly get pins and needles hopefully with this surgery that will help that and also hopefully it helps my heartburn you guys kind of know that i suffer with heartburn quite a bit um, i'm not on like specific medication or anything I just take Rennie, but hopefully it will help me with that. <sighs> it's nice to be like 
near nature with something like this. I've never had an operation before, so I'm nervous. Mum sent me a sticker. This is mine and Mum's conversation. <laughs> Just gonna text her saying I'm here, sitting outside. Oh my god. Anyway, tally hoes. I will catch up with you today when I can, when it feels right. <laughs> me and Mum have been watching. <sighs> Excuse me. Me and Mum have been. <sighs> Apparently not. <laughs> my mouth is so dry. Oh my god. We've been watching so much like catchphrase, play your cards right, deal or no, no, not, no. Deal or no deal's not around anymore, is it? We've also been watching Family Fortunes, Judge Judy. Judge Judy's the shit, I love Judge Judy. Okay, right, I'll catch up with you when I can. I love you. I'm actually getting a wrinkle here, Telly Hose, and I'm not happy about it, look. Does it just mean I frown too much? Anyway, I'm talking shit now. Bye. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> what is this? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm in my little room and I've had a shower. I've got in this robe. Um, I've, I've got my socks on, look. Hello, sexy socks. These are from Sheen, by the way. I've got these undies on. They're like mesh undies. <laughs> Just met my surgeon, what a lovely guy. I'm excited, I'm not that nervous. I'm nervous about the anaesthetic, but I'm gonna have my meeting with him in a minute. They've been working together for like 10 years. I feel like I'm in safe hands, which is all that matters. It's slightly shaking a little bit. He let me know that under anaesthetic, I'm not really gonna be able to communicate with you guys very well. So just so you know, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. Wish me luck. <sighs> when you're watching this, it's already done. Um, comment a butterfly emoji in the comments to let me know. I'm actually sweating, I'm a bit clammy, I'm a little bit embarrassed. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Hello, Tal. Thank you. Hello, Tally Hoes. Uh, it's the morning after the surgery. I will update you properly within the next few days. I haven't got that much energy, although I had an amazing nap today. I've been walking up and down the ward, oh, struggled there, um, to try and get rid of some guess, you know, because you could be quite guessy with this type of procedure, but it went so well. He said that I did my liver shrinking diet perfectly and I made his job easier. Honestly, if you're gonna get the surgery done in the UK, then go with Mr. Awad, because he is just incredible. I remember him coming in to check on me about, well, in the evening time, but I was completely out of it. Like, the anaesthetic and the effect it had on me personally, I was so drowsy. I remember him coming in and telling me, like, I did such a good job and everything, and he was, like, holding my hand, and he was just so reassuring. As soon as I got into the theatre... He just made me feel so, so comfortable. So it's good. I'm in pain at the moment. Well, it's not pain. It's not pain. It's like you are severely hungry. And then it's almost as if you've done like a 24 hour ab workout as well. So it's an, it's an experience, but I will tell you later on because I'm just waiting for my mom to come pick me up. I'm currently... I don't want to show you too much because I don't know if you guys want to see hospitals actually. So, but I'm on a drip right now um, and I'm just going to have some anti-sickness uh, for the car journey because Lord knows I need it with my mum driving her. Fanta. And what else is she doing? I can't remember. But um, I need to remember to drink water because it's going to get that wind out, which I need. I'm so happy I've washed my hair yesterday because it smells like tresemme. Dilu. Okay. I'll catch up with you guys later.
is what is going on here then breakfast bonjour ça va ça va bien I have just had some very, very exciting news. So do mind me if a little bit of craziness comes out and I act very hyper. You'll be finding out so soon. Oh, I'm a little bit in shock. The burst of energy that I had a second ago has completely put me into some pain here. <clears throat> Yesterday, Tally Hose, you saw just a tiny little clip of me putting the shower on. I honestly took my um, tripod in the bathroom. I was like, I'm gonna film a little glow up, like surgery glow up thing. But by the time I had washed my hair and half washed my body it took it out of me I was so exhausted honestly I genuinely whew, I cried I'm not gonna lie I cried I couldn't pick up the products from the floor I dropped a few things and I couldn't pick up my dirty laundry from the floor <clears throat> I had to <clears throat> I had zero energy, so I lit... What is going on with my voice? It's annoying me. I had no energy, so I just got to my room. Luckily, it's not this door that you see in the camera, but it's a door next to it, which is the bathroom. So the bathroom's not too far away. I literally just got into bed and I was like, thank God. I was still wet and I didn't dry myself. I was just dripping wet, but I needed to lay down. It was, it was tough work. So although I'm not actually really in pain or too much discomfort anymore, I am definitely still recovering, still tired, still wearing my compression socks. I actually just ordered a leg circulation stimulator thing off Amazon. If you guys want me to do like a what I've bought pre and post my surgery, then let me know because I've been spending, I have been spending a lot of money, but I just feel like, you know, this is a whole new way of life for me. And I feel like investing in stuff like that and other things, of course, um, is going to be worth it and it's going to be good. So of course I'm wearing my comfort favorite jumper from boohoo i would show you my desk because when i got home i had a terrible car journey back from birmingham to brighton oh my god honestly i was feeling fine and then i took some of the anti-sickness pills and i just had a reaction to it and uh, the car journey i was pretty much knocked out for half of it just feeling so rough so when I got home, I just went to sleep, but my family put a smile on my face. My brother got me these. I'm, I'm gonna try and dry these out. And you know, when I move out, use them as decor, if I can. If you know how to do that, comment it down below, because I have no idea. And then my other brother got me this, which is so cute. And these smell so incredible. Do you know what? I feel like with age, I'm starting to really appreciate flowers. It's something pretty and it's something elegant. It's beautiful. Got that. I got some cards as well. And I honestly feel I'm really loved, really supported, which I think is so, so, so important. Ellen, I'm just walking to my car now, so I'll be seeing you very shortly. Oh my God. Ellen's coming around in a sec, so I might vlog, I might not vlog. I, honestly, I feel like I need a nap. So maybe I'll try and like rest myself before she gets here. I'm just drinking some soup, which you can't see. And I can't show you because I've got no trousers on. And this is a chicken and lentil powder, like sachet thing. 
and I've been drinking, oh my god, orange juice, cranberry juice. I've also been drinking these grenade shakes and oh, that went down too quick. I drank that too quick. <sighs> okay. And then I got a little delivery from Tonic. <laughs> Let's go through it together. So I also had a phone call with the dietitian today just to make sure um, I'm still on track. I still am getting in protein and stuff because that's liquid is my only form of like vitamins and, you know, food at the moment. So she's making sure that I'm doing it right. I definitely need to up my protein game. And I've also been having daily calls with the nurse as well. And she said she's really happy with my process and progress even. And I'm genuinely like happy with my progress as well. Like the day after surgery and the day after that. So the first two days I was walking nonstop and it really helped with the gas pain. And then since then I've just been uncomfortable i haven't been in pain and also i think i'm experiencing hunger pains i've never experienced hunger pains before it is not like feeling hungry i tell you that now like hunger pains like when you're actually genuinely hungry is a lot different to when you're like mm, am i hungry no you're not hungry i'm learning so much about myself already and there's just so much in my life going on right now that I'm just very, very happy. But anyway, let's get on to what they've sent me. So first of all, they sent me like a tonic bottle, like a Love Island bottle, but it says tonic. But I love that because this is like a slow, um, slow sip straw kind of thing, which means what just happened a second ago when it got caught in my chest won't really happen with this bottle. I've actually been trying to Amazon one for a long time, so I thoroughly appreciate you guys sending me that. Then I've got some cutlery, some sort of cutlery that you can take around and about, might. Then a tape measure. Me personally, like I said to you guys, I'm not, I haven't and I'm not doing this for how I look. I'm doing this for how I feel. So personally, oh, one sec. So personally, I'm not gonna be weighing myself. I find it very triggering for me. So I'm only gonna be weighing myself when my surgeon asks me to, because like I said, it's not about that for me. It's not about numbers. It's not about how I look. It's about how I'm feeling. I personally, um, from my, my journey and my experience, obviously it's completely different for everyone. It's very unhealthy for me to continuously like weigh myself. And I won't actually be sharing with you guys how much I'm losing or how much I've lost. I'm sort of setting my own boundary here, putting that in place. Of course, I'm taking you on this journey, but for me, it's not about numbers and it shouldn't be about my numbers for you guys, if that makes sense. So that will be me holding on to a little bit of privacy and also I think setting a healthy boundary for myself. Ask my nurse one sec. Hello. Oh, hi. So, um, I can't remember if I told you that I was drinking cranberry juice. You're not allowed to do that, darling. You're not allowed. So, um, <laughs> let me just highlight and, you know, disclose again that everyone's journey is so, so different. You should only be listening to your surgeon's rules, your nurse, whoever's looking after you. Um, and sort of if you do find tips and tricks and stuff, just run it past them first. Because yeah, I've been drinking cranberry juice since yesterday. Or has it mostly been today? But because I'm on jabs, which stop blood clots and cranberry juice supposedly thins your blood or something, they kind of contradict each other and they don't work together. So, oops. But of course I do want to like be telling you bits and bobs from my perspective as we go along on my journey, because this is personal to me. This is something that I can look back on. 
and for those considering it as well like this might be helpful for you you might learn some tips and tricks as well you never know there wasn't really much out there when i was doing my research but i will leave some of the people that i watched down in my little description bar so you guys can check out their channels as well they were really informative really helpful it will give you a bit more of an insight and also there are channels that are like dedicated to this journey for them that won't be me as you guys already know i'm going to be continuing doing my vlogs and doing my fashion content because that's who i am next oh yeah so i got the the tape measure because obviously my surgeon's going to want to know my measurements it also does tell you like your bmi and stuff as well so that's quite handy and then um they've sent a little workout band which i'm definitely going to use you guys know that i do actually love going to the gym with my brother and we were using bands all lockdown so i'm kind of happy to have my own they were his although i could take them out the garage and use them to be fair i don't know why i've never thought about that I got a little whey protein and I've written on it because they also sent me this card. I won't show you too much. That says that I'm a weight loss surgery patient. And as a result, I can only eat a small size plate. Please can you help by assisting them with half portion sizes from the menu or a child's portion, which is so, so handy. You can actually also get these off Amazon. I was going to purchase one myself, but I've got this now. So, so yeah, as I was trying to write on this, because it's obviously plastic, it was really hard. So I was kind of just like drawing on this sachet of protein, but they sent me just a little tonic whey protein sample. And also my favorite thing is a side plate, which is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be but it's to help you with your portion control and what you're actually eating, making sure that you're getting the nutrition that you need. So it says protein, vegetables, and carbs, mate. My room's actually getting messy because I can't do any heavy lifting and stuff, so. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait for Ellen now, have some soup. I'm so upset that I didn't vlog yesterday because this has gone all lumpy. I was so ready for it, tally hose. I was going to do like a little morning routine post op. Didn't even manage to put face cream on. Didn't even manage to dry myself. Didn't got into bed wet. So, but I'm definitely full of energy today. Heard some good news. Life is good. Big things coming. And also I've got Paris and my mum's birthday trip coming up. So that might be one of the next few vlogs actually. <sighs> Will I learn to drink slower? Oh, I'm so upset about the cranberry juice. <laughs> 